All right, what's well, everybody? Ghouls PVS back again, and uh, today we've got a spicy topic. I guess not spicy. Um, everyone on the fucking corner of YouTube is gonna be running to make a video on this shit, but I dubs. Ooh, big stuff. Um, so uh, today, or I guess it's uh, yesterday at this point of recording. Um, I think by now. Um, I dubs put out his newest video. It's like, oh wow, he like hardly ever uploads. And it's like, oh, yeah, well, it's nothing to get excited about. It's a video about the Froggy Fresh situation, and it's not good. So for anybody who doesn't have any past context on who iDubbbz is, if you're not, I guess, the Chronicle on YouTube or whatever, um, or I guess just not on YouTube much, even, I don't know, a lot of motherfuckers probably know who he is. Um, generally, he's a guy who went from this... Yahoo! 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 ...to a guy who says this. I think a lot of the content I've made has been irresponsible and misguided. And I think I've hurt a lot of people with the content I've made. And you know, so some would say a fall from grace, others would say a mature path forward. But what you can't say is that he didn't know any better when he was, you know, the age that he was doing this other shit in. It's because, no, either A, it was lucrative at the time, or B, that's just really who he was, and or a mix of both. So, you know what, it is what it is. You know, that's the past, so be it. But this video is fucking awful, man. Not only is he apologizing about the same shit he's already apologized for, that's, that's not the main problem, I don't really care about that shit. The main problem is how he painted the Froggy Fresh situation, and when I saw this, like, it left a bad fucking taste in my mouth. So, one of the first points he brings up is, you know, the Froggy thing, and he's like, you know, with the thing, he's like, oh, you know, he disrespected me and my event and all these things, and he proceeds to play clips that were taken from after Froggy Fresh was kicked out of the boxing event. Ian's masculinity has been completely removed via Anissa. There's some type of nerd fight last year. He uses clips from after the event as reason for why he was kicked out of the event. It's like, tell me how this works. Either Ian has some sort of fucking future sight bullshit, or this is just not adding up, all right? He either has some other fucking reason that he's trying to hide and cover up, or he has no fucking reason and he's just like fucking brainless. Like, I don't know, man. Um, but this whole video is just like, there's so many times where he just seems like, just like, he's just like a sore little loser. I don't know, there's so many things that were like very obviously jokes that he puts in his video and uses like, oh yeah, got him, got him with that one. It's like, oh yeah, okay, yeah. You, you've never made like very edgy satirical jokes before. Now, nah, couldn't be you, couldn't be you, brother. So, um, you know, trying to keep this quick and concise, I mean, most of y'all already know about the bullshit around iDubs. There's, like, you know, the whole, like, cuck thing. It's like, I couldn't give a shit, like, if his wife has an OnlyFans. Like, you think I give a fuck about that? I give a fuck more about him just, I don't know, either being completely dishonest or just being completely fucking brain dead. Uh, there's, there's literally no in-between. Like, I... Or I guess there is in between. It's if he's both dishonest and brain dead. There you go. Uh, synopsis complete. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. I'm just fucking with you. You thought I was gonna leave you with just like one example of this shit? Nah, 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 nah. I got more. Trust me. Um. So another thing that was really dumb. Um. There was the whole um. Like there was the whole training with Sam Hyde thing. So like I'm not even gonna get into the Sam Hyde like. Sam Hyde as a whole here, love him or hate him, doesn't really matter to the situation, to the fact of that, like, Froggy agreed not to put out any content with Sam before the event happened or whatever, uh, you know, uh, with reluctance, Froggy agreed to do that, he thought it was weird or whatever that Ian was asking that to him, but I'm pretty sure he agreed to do it, um, but apparently, Twitter retweets count as content. It came to the point where I was like, can you postpone releasing content with Sam Hyde? That's right, and guess what? Like, I would, I'd even plan on releasing none of the Sam Hyde content until after the event. If you don't know who Sam Hyde is, he's, whether or not you love him or hate him, you have to recognize him as, uh, he's the most talented comedian alive. He's the most talented comedian of our generation. He's gonna probably be the greatest comedian of all time. He's insanely, he's a genius. Um, I got a chance to go out there and train with him. He welcomed me into his environment. He paid people to train me. 
Yeah, I'm sorry. You know, every time I retweet something, that, like, counts as my content. Like, sorry, bitches. Like, what? I legitimately don't understand how that counts as content. Um, but yeah, cool. Retweets and pictures. Content. Yeah. And then I guess for the final thing, there was one other segment where Froggy was making these jokes. Um, and he's basically saying, like, you get to own, you know, after the show, you get to basically own these women for a night. Like, you get them, and they're yours. And so he makes these, this joke, and it's, you know, it's a joke implying, like, you know, Idub's treated as if he's just saying, like, all women are property. No, the joke is that he's joking about how you're running, like, a seedy event and are practically, like, pouring people out to the winners. That was, like, the joke or whatever. But no, apparently the joke is just, you know, women have no rights and should be property, and there's no nuance to anything, you know. Ian would never get that, but, uh, yeah, this has been it. Things and I don't get it. I don't get what all this shit is all about. But everybody's there to worship me thoughts or fucking you thought or get or like touching you thoughts, titty or pussy. Or, <laughs> it's always after that, and it's just like, what happens if people get all excited about it? And I think Chris Reagan was like, he probably thought he was gonna go there and beat some fucking nerd up and be, and he was gonna win. Like I don't know if they're giving. I think they give away like OnlyFans with girls there at these events. <laughs> I don't know what kind of spot shit is going on. Like, if you win certain fights, I think you get to own some of these girls for some of the nights. Nice <laughs> awesome. I don't know how it works, but I think Chris was like, like he had plans to go beat up a nerd and like, and like whatever, however, whatever, they get to like lease one of these girls. And um, so like, he got there. Well, Ian was probably thinking like, because I think, I think, um, man, I need to just stop all, all this probably. Yahoo! 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 Yahoo!